Hi, I'm standing here on a rock outcropping overlooking the O'Shaughnessy Dam and the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Uh, I arrived here about an hour ago. I've been hiking across the dam through a tunnel and uh, up a trail alongside the, uh, the lake. And uh, I must say I'm a little bit ambivalent about what I'm seeing. Uh, for years I've read about Hetch Hetchy and I've considered it the great tragedy of all of the National Park story. Uh, a dam built in a canyon that John Muir considered to be the equivalent of Yosemite, a second Yosemite. Uh, and early on in, in the history of the parks, this tremendous uh, eruption into the park of modern technology in building a dam. Uh, John Muir spent much of the final 10 years of his life fighting this, and uh, he more than once said, uh, uh, Hetch Hetchy is killing me, and some people feel that ultimately it did. Uh, I had come here today almost as I might have gone to a concentration camp in, uh, in, in post-World War II Germany uh, with the story emblazoned in my mind of, of what a tragedy this was. And I still feel very strongly that uh, it's important to the parks that we leave them as they are. In uh, Theodore Roosevelt's phrase at the Grand Canyon, leave it as it is, let it be. Nature and has worked on it for all of these years. And here's this huge exception to this. And that's one of the feelings I still have. But at the same time, I'm impressed at how beautiful the trail is along here. Uh, the rocks are still there. They're still lovely. Uh, I met four young hikers uh, half an hour or so ago who had been up in the back country and uh, they said it's just spectacularly beautiful back further up there and even the water adds to the beauty as they as they uh, walk along the trail. Uh, there's another thing that causes me to sort of rethink Hetch Hetchy and again I feel it's 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 a tragedy that it was ever dammed but it's also a piece of history so in a certain sense we're visiting Gettysburg we're visiting a place this very place where a little bit over a hundred, well, really a hundred years ago, John Muir was still fighting uh, to, uh, to prevent a dam being built here. And so there's all that history of about oh, 10 or 20 years of fighting about the dam or not having a dam. And then after that, uh, there's another 10 or 20 years of, uh, of building the dam. So it's historically an amazing place. And at the same time, there's still a lot of mother nature here. Uh, so with a feeling of ambivalence and eager not to step back and get too excited and fall in the lake, I will conclude this little mini talk.